So the question is, is it necessary to have protection when having sex with your partner? So let's just do a quick like, shoot around. Everybody just say either yes or no. So, nah. What do you think? Yes or no, protection or no? No. Shaka. Yeah. Every. It depends. Yeah. Hey, yes or no now. <laughs> Yes or no, yeah. I also have a it depends I'm on myself. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it depends. So, yeah. Okay, let's do this. It depends. Let's go there. It depends now. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. Me too, it depends. Yeah, me too. It depends. I just agree with because you're behind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, you should. Yes. No. Me, I am a big yes. Mm. I'm a big yes. I'm a big yes. I'm a big. I'm a pro protection guy. So, like, it's about. I don't know. Let's start with not. Now, why? Like, no. You said no, right? Yeah. So, what's. Like, what are your reasons for that? Okay, I think, okay, personally, you've known that person for a while, mm-hmm. and if you guys check your HIV status and then maybe STDs once in a while, once in a while, I think you don't really need to use a condom when you sex. No, yeah, of course, of course. Secondly, you're free, you know, you're, you've been together for a while, you guys are faithful to each other. How that is if that people? is if you guys know you are not having a second partner. Big if Yes. That's a big if. Yes. That tell. is if you know that you are not having a second partner, right. then you can't do without it. Also, someone will say, why would I use a condom? Because you can't take toffee, whatever. Yeah, I like that freeze. Like, oh, that freeze, like, <laughs> like, like, I really, I'm really in love with that freeze. Right. Yeah. So, uh, why would I have sex with my partner and I would use a condom? Right. Like, you are not even sure the kind of condom you are getting with a lot of brands on the market. Mm-hmm. Um, say, the latex used for the condom or the lubricant, would it be okay for you? You get reactions and all So, you want a raw? Professor <laughs> now. <laughs> and it can get torn, so it all comes down to getting it. So they're, they're honest, so, yeah, okay. No, but then, again, it's not as, so I get the point of being, if you've been faithful, if you've been, been together for a long time, but we didn't even preface this, like, you know, the theory by saying that you've been together for a long time. But let's just assume that you've been together for a long time. Like, protection is not just for, for, like, not, STS. not, yeah, not for, not just for STIs, for prevention of STIs, right? Like, prevention of pregnancy. Pregnancy. The big one is having children, right? Me, for me, that's even a big one. That's like forget about STI. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, right? But like the big one is is a kid, it's a kid, right? And that's why I'm a big yes. Like you definitely need to have protection, um, for you have to have protection when you are with your partner in a relationship. Even married at some point, that, like some mar- some married couples need protection. Like you see some married couples that have seven children, and you're like, you have no business having seven having children, children, right? Well, maybe it's for recreation, you know, just live like exactly. boys Yo. or families or something. Okay, so so that's use like protection. Your, that's like your explanation. Yeah, my thing is that like because of kids, right? Like a kid can come into the the, the picture patient. if you're not using protection, right? And you say, oh, we are extra careful, but please. Right, like you, you can slip and, and then you have an issue. And my thing is that you can prevent STIs or even if, even if you don't use protection and you get, you get an STI, that's just on you, no problem. But then if you have a kid- But it's also just on you when you have a kid. No, it's not just on you. The, you, the child, the if you can't involved. take care of the child, uh-huh. the kid also has, bears the consequences. Okay. All right, so that's, that's just an issue. But- Let me hear from my, from my man right here. Shut up. <laughs> if you know if you check your swag, then you can't hit it raw, you're afraid. Then I don't know what is happening. <laughs> What's that? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm, a, I'm not afraid of... <laughs> you were talking about a baby stuff. Right. But now you should know your left from your right. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> no, but I'm not, I'm not ready for a child now. <laughs> but, uh, but what do you mean left from my right? So, you so you should know how to out. hit raw without getting a baby by now. Like, raw. Well. Okay. Come on, you I'm not going to I was not worried. Oh, okay. A whole lot of ways, man. Charlie, you should know by now. 
So oh, they pull out, 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 they pull Everybody tell me, 96% of guys doesn't like condom. Let's be realistic. Hey, wait, this is not the same. This one, 96. 96. You should know what you're doing, man. It's like you're enjoying it and then, like, you can't quite tell the time. So when that happens, there's still a second round. There's a second round. So you, you want to go like, through that whole ordeal? Okay, so apart from, you know, it's not a matter of going through that ordeal. Apart from, I'm going to base this question. Colin can not save you from pregnancy. You know that? Colin can not save you from Yeah. Yeah, other yeah, stuff can. Yeah, but it can prevent it. It can reduce the risk of it. The same way raw can prevent, if you know your way to about things. <laughs> How? But yeah, condom oh, is not like that. But I want to ask you a question based on what she said and what she just said. Yeah, right. So right, this is a case where we're not basing it on just pregnancy. Okay. So with the coitus, whatever you just mentioned, mm-hmm. okay, she was saying STIs. How do you prevent that with the Exactly. Coitus? So we come to another aspect of it. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. STIs, you can cure them, right? Right. So others you can't, can't right? Kill, yeah. Yeah. So the others that you can't, it comes between you and your partner. Uh-huh. That's where some points she raised comes in. Like if you trust her, she's not messing around, fucking around. You know, everything right. is cool, you've gone to the hospital, you've checked. Then come on, why do you have to be using condom again? Right. So no, but you remember it, so we've had this discussion before, can you absolutely trust your partner? And we had him like well That's what he said. A big if no, you trust your partner. A, yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's two sides of the coin. You cannot. It's impossible. So trust your partner. So you just ask yourself first that that she trust me. Right. Yeah, you, you are fine. I'm talking about no, the lady. No, how do you know you are fine? If you think you are fine, then you should know that she's also fine because it's a relationship. So, how so can, if you are doubting her, that happen. means you, you, you are so... Yeah, you guys don't know each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't oh, think it's like a relationship. No, I don't believe true. that. I don't believe 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 that. You can trust yourself because you have control over you. No. Maybe you are getting a drive, then she decides to turn around. Because it happened. Um, yeah, I think again, but, again. <laughs> what I was saying was that, yeah, right. You can trust yourself because you control your actions, right? So you know what you've done and what you haven't done. Mm-hmm. The things that you don't know what your woman has done or hasn't. Ah, oh, come on, I don't right. understand that point. What do you mean you don't understand? understand? When you started being together, or yeah, when you started, yeah, when you started being okay. together, like after you got together. Uh-huh. Right. You don't know what she does, but she doesn't like know what you did before. Yeah, I'm saying together. you, you, you yourself, uh-huh. right? So uh-huh. me, I know what I've done or uh-huh. what I haven't, because uh-huh. I can control my actions, uh-huh. right? I don't know what she hasn't or what she has so done. So she's also thinking the same way you're doing. Right? Exactly. So, so, so we both use protection. So we use protection. I believe you. Yeah. So and then we use so protection. So it comes so back to the same point that what? hey, let's check it out and see whether we're cool. So they both have trust issues. So yeah. So you have to check it out. Okay. With with no. And with the question of with the question of trust issues, I want to put this out there. Right. Okay. So. Let's say you, you make the decision that you not use protection anymore, or okay. you or you you know you have sex, use coitus and whatever. Then one day your partner comes along and says, "Oh, there was a mistake right here. I did this and I had sex with some or some other hmm. dude." What do you do? Do you leave the partner or you start using protection? Did no, he, no, 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 no. Did no. he tell you that after you guys have had sex, or he told you before? You after the after after he, like the he sex. wants to do whatever he has yes. to go and do after with the other you know, person. Because you are so deep in sex with you. Before he confessed, uh, or right after he came back, then he confessed. Right after he came back, let's take oh, from there. Will you, you use condom? You use condom? You use. Because I don't know whether you use well or not. Even if you did, I just don't trust the fact that you are safe enough. Mm. So it's so gonna be. If, let's say, how long are you going to be using the condom? No, let me put it this way. It, it comes with different angles. Okay, if. He's my husband. Right. We are married. Right. There is no one I can say every single day we have to use condom because he was unfaithful for once or just twice or whatever. Right. Okay, so would you use it until you get tested? Great. You understand? Yeah, but you know. At that moment, I can't risk it. Sorry. Again, you know, like, touch, like things don't show up every single oh, time. Okay. There's some. It has to take. Let's see. There's some. There's Come some. Come someone with trust issue, please. You test like three, four times. You have to test like different hospitals. You test. Right. So I'm like, okay, sure, okay. In fact, if you're using the protection is, is itself, I'll I'll not be comfortable. I feel like, nah. Still, right? It might probably slip somewhere and just I'll get the infection but, or something. Like, I I like to ask Albert a question. So what if your partner gets reactions from using you know condoms or something like that? We'll, we'll try other we'll try other labels. 
Exactly. Mm. And there are no people who are reaction from all like and then you can see the material. They have lamb skin. They have lamb skin. That's the one that people don't react to. What is lamb skin? Like condoms. It's made out of lamb skin. Yeah, this lamb. is a different type. Yeah. Lamb, yeah. yeah. Oh, Charlie, the virus you go get. <laughs> <laughs> I go take the lamb me. Oh, no, if, if you Charlie, react to Charlie, if you react to regular latex, if you react to there's some people that react. Yeah, but that's especially guys. That's the thing. See, it's like going to a restaurant and trying a um, couple of foods. Okay, if right. you are, probably go to Papa and eat their food. You eat their food and put it that way. And you run. Right. You go to KFC, eat their fried rice, and you're fine. Mm-hmm. So if you use one label, one brand of condom, right. and you are not okay and get infections or whatever, right. reactions to it. Why yeah. don't you try other labels? Yeah, right. lots of labels out there. Why don't you try them? Exactly. Let people recommend some to you. Yeah. Because I know people who go like, well, I don't like because I get reactions. Like, okay, yeah. so have you tried try another one? Right. No, no. Me, yeah, and I don't want to try again. Mm. Uh-huh. But you know, but you but try to put your feelings. But that's the reality. Some people actually have trusted brands. Like, they are used to this one. They don't want to change it. Mm-hmm. So if you're used to it and it's making you uncomfortable, please change it. Got, Why you would you still stick with something that makes you uncomfortable? Let's say there is a... Uh, please, give me brand, brand names. Like, I can see uh, Champion. I know Durex. Durex. Yeah. And we are not the Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you are not doing the marketing campaign. Let's use our name for the brand, okay? So let's say there is Ife brand and there is Albi brand. Yo, okay. She's going to start a condo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And let's say I started using the Albert brand and it was like super cool. Then after a while. Albert brands are always super cool. Of course, after you can get that at every pharmacy in Accra. <laughs> oh, please stop, stop marketing. <laughs> <laughs> then after a while, like, I start getting reactions to it. The fact that it didn't start from the beginning doesn't mean I should stick with it because it's going to change whatever. It could be that the process of making that particular brand has changed and it's now going to get back to how I, or I, my body is just not okay with the brand again. Mm-hmm. So I just have to change the book to every brand. If I start using every brand, I'm okay, fine, I stay. If it starts giving me reactions, please, I move. You don't stay with something that makes you uncomfortable, that's not done. Right. Yeah. But let's, let's, face, let, let's face reality. How yeah. many um, couples who are in a committed relationship who consistently go to the hospital or have test strips, test strips in the house and are consistently testing themselves, say maybe every three months or six months. Right. We, realistically, they are, they are there are very little of them. No, yeah. Because, because, they, because they, they hardly oh, mess no. around. L- l- let me they come. hardly mess around. No, it's not, it's oh, not no, it's not no, 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 how many of them have consistently test themselves, HIV, right. gonorrhea, whatever right. it is, either in the house or in the hospital, or we walk together to the um, mm. parenthood or whatever and right. then get tested? Yeah, yeah it's a it's like no, less than 5%. Less than 5%. Yeah, less than 5%. 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 Less than through counseling, then they go to the hospital or something and get yeah, tested. But it comes back to even if they are doing but all that, do anyway. you trust your partner enough? That, that, that's See, what I'm coming it to. It can be tested today, it will be negative today, tomorrow it's going to fuck up somewhere. Right. You can't okay. come and give you something. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'm coming to something. I'm coming to something. Hold on. I'm coming to something. I have if, huge if trust in you. That's why he asked me. Yeah, that's why he asked me. You don't need to know what you're like. You don't mess around and you don't tell anybody. I think I won't tell you. If I mess on, I'm, I'm oh, well, well, it depends, depends on how you mess around. Right. If you mess around, you see a condom somewhere, you wouldn't tell me because you can't feel it. But if it's the person you know use the condom, you use the condom. No, no, no. 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 No, no, it depends on how fake the person is to you. It depends on it depends on their relationship status. Whether you're uh, magical, it whether you are the relationship is complicated, single-ish, right. or you are in a relationship or, or a committed you, relationship leading to marriage, or and the person married. is married to you. And even when even if when you're married, it depends. Let's say we are married. 
then we have a little issue in the house, then you go like, you know what, I'm just going to ask you to clear my head. And there's this cute friend that you always have that you should always call yes. to tell your problems to. You. And then you go head. and run, I know you're running. I think, okay, I don't know. I think you're running. Because you go out with your running attire and everything. <laughs> then you come back, you're shutting mm-hmm. everything. I'm like, oh yeah, you went to run. Like, oh babe, I'm sorry, let's talk about this one. Yeah. Like, you know, make up sex. But what a way to clear it. Like, yeah, right? yeah. So, when it comes to some guys, <laughs> when it comes to some guys and some girls, I can't say yeah, for myself. Too, 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 too. But when it comes to some, some guys and some girls, when they are having like an argument with their partner, okay, mm-hmm. they feel like when they stay around to continue with the arguments, they might probably do something they don't want to do, or they might say something they don't want to say. Right. So, I for one, if I know that I'm going to say something that I would regret, I just shut up. I don't talk. I right. just go mute. Right. So I go like, you know what? I'm tired. I don't want to even hear you now. Like, cause you go to the room, you still hear the lady talking. Right. So now you have to go and take a run or whatever. Right. But the thing is, when it comes to trust, you should know the person you're with. That's when you both come in. Okay. In this case, I'm basing my argument on the fact that I don't trust you that much. To think that you're going out for a run and you come back. And what? Yeah. Oh, he he looks like he had a... I went to play my mind. No. Hell no. But you the person, it. The person looked like... If you're yeah. married. See, if you're married and I know you enough, and I know you inside out. You know the people that when they do something bad, you can see it on their face, like they don't mm-hmm. even see... Go like, oh, hey, then I do something like that. Like, like, the other street, you can't even read anything. Like, they're like, yeah. dumb They're like, yeah, man, they no have problem. that game face. Right. Nothing. You can't read any emotions on their face. Like one. So if I know I can't read you that well, <laughs> right. please, I'll just try and be safe. Right. Because, ain't. It's real. real. It's real. You understand? And I'm thinking of the fact that I'm going to, you know, be stuck with you. Probably I'm even thinking of getting a divorce from you. Right. And I'm going to be stuck with you because I've got eight and got it and you have to be together. Or you are being fast all the time. Together. Another eight part and you're trying to go with the person and I'm like stuck. I'm there alone. No kids. And I'm thinking of how so I have to take these pills to have kids, take these pills to my partner, everything. And I hate pills. Right. So please, I like to protect it all the time. If I know I don't trust you. You would use it. Mm. If I think I trust you enough, and quite depends. If you're my husband, then yeah. Because we need to have kids at some point. Right. You understand? Right. So if I think I trust you that much, yes, then we are good to go. We can right. do it without the protection. Are you yeah, always going to use condom with your husband? It's not always. That's what I'm saying that now we don't use Whether you trust him or not. Are you always oh, going If I don't trust, trust you, why do you not mind the person If you don't even trust, trust your husband in the relationship, are you always going to use condom with It's not always. It's a, yes, so it's you don't trust him, but there is going to be one instance that is going to hit you raw. But you might never know whether that is the time no, you're going to get that like, infection yeah, or not. Yeah, it looks like you're getting going right? on. Right? You're not talking about the fact that it's mm-hmm. going to be all the time. No. Yeah. It's going to be all the time. But there are some couples at the time. That one time that you thought you are giving me. Yes. Yes. But like, no. 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 And again, and keep on begging. And again, probably there are instances where you're giving me STI, which is not a probably gonorrhea and other stuff. And I've gone to the hospital because of you, like, can't last time. Like, every two weeks, I need to go to the hospital because of you. Right. You shouldn't be in that it'll relationship. Get, it shouldn't no. be in that relationship. Okay, and our kids. The relationship. Right. It's like, okay. It'll get to a point, I'll get fed up, and I'll even be scared for my life because I feel like thing. now it's going to be real. What is it going to be next? What if it was AIDS? Right. So you stop. See, I'll use condom right. if I think I'm too tired. You just say, "Oh yeah, with the pop pop pop." No, 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 no. <laughs> You're talking be. about marriage, and certain mm-hmm. things shouldn't just let you leave your marriage because. But you understand? No, I think what, what, I think what, what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think we're not basing it on whether you love your partner or you want to stay with your partner. Right now, we're basing the whole argument on. How often do you want to use your um, Are you but, but with me, with me, always use protection? Yeah, but with me, I think it depends. You know, it's not your partner, and it depends on lots of. You know, Let's hear you. With me, I think, I think it depends because it should be a decision between the couple. Mm. You, know, you know, because if you are not married and both of you feel like, you know, you are not, you know, cool with the whole condom thing and, you know, you, you want, you are open for adventure and you probably, one, one, one person feels that. Adventure, go to Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. What adventure is I was listening carefully to the submissions of my, my fellow over here and he was, he, he sounds like someone who Fair thinks he's on, he's on his A game yeah. and he feels he can, you know, do his coitus and tarotus a bit perfectly. That, that is with somebody so, I trust. So, yeah, so I think right. if you trust yourselves and you feel that you can, you know, gamble, yeah. then fine. But if you don't uh, trust your partner, I don't, I, 
I, for one, disagree in the, in the sense that you sh- if you yourself you are faithful, it's a given that your partner is faithful. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. So I don't, I don't, really, I don't really think, think it's that. Bad. So if you think you have trust issues with your partner, are you always gonna use condom forever? Yes. That is the question, man. There is going to be a time that you surely go raw, and you might never know that the time the person will okay. be giving you what so, you fear. So, so, so what, then? I, what then? What then? So can I can I, I, think, I think I think what we are, I think that the question was uh, sorry the question was is it necessary to 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 like to have protection yeah. when having sex with your partner? So so we are literally when you say something is a must, uh-huh. it's not about it stops today or it stops tomorrow. It's a must. It's a must have when you are having this consistent. Thank you. Right. Exactly. So it doesn't matter whether you get to a point where you actually tr- like this whole thing about trust mm-hmm. trusting your partner and having trust issues so you're using that thing is a slip, slippery slope is that yeah, right it yeah. is because because again you so you have people then saying oh if if i go like they get into a new relationship mm-hmm. maybe they are like a month or three months whatever it is mm-hmm. and and then now they're saying that well if i tell my partner that i don't want to i want to use i want to have protection he, he or she is going to feel some type of way about it and say, oh, <laughs> you have type. You like, nah, you. man. No, it's, it's a very slippery slope because, because that's the case. It gets, people can use that. Like, you know how guys always use right? blue balls to get their way, yeah. Yeah. right? People can start using that <laughs> to get their way. Like, oh, because you prefer, you prefer um, to, like, to hit a raw, like you said. But, but You're Albert, using trust issues. But Albert said something, I really but took But that's got nothing to do with trust issues. That's got to do with no, the person's preference and what it no, is about. No, matter of you telling me you don't you don't trust me, you might not even tell me, but you feel like, hey, baby, uh, I want us to be using condom all the time. Uh-huh. And deep down inside me, I know I don't like using condoms. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, we use it on you. And then since I don't like it, I have to go get somebody that I can go raw with. But I'll bet you something. I guess we're two, different. Different. We're two yeah. different people. Right. I know what I love. Right. You also know what you love. Right. And you're like, hey, deep down inside you, like, you have, you think you have trust issues. Right. So you want us to use condom. Right. And you love me. No, it's not about trust issues. It's about me feeling that it's important. Why do you feel like it? There's two things. It makes you comfortable. Yeah, two things. It makes you comfortable. Now you're thinking about yourself. Uh So in the first place, you're being selfish. No, No, it makes me comfortable. That's not the only reason. It makes me comfortable. Uh It prevents or prevents unwanted situations down the line. And but myself, you and myself, me, yeah, myself too, condom doesn't make yeah, me more. I'm, 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 I'm representing me. me. Yeah. 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 You know, I said I was crap. If you know you don't like it, like fine, there's a communication going on. And I told you what I like. If you know you don't like it, why would you stay with me and do what I like and go to someone else? Why don't you just leave and go to that person? After you are being persistent that we should still use condom. No, that's not me. But the fact that you also don't like it, you are forcing me to do what you also like. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. so yeah. not going to force you. Exactly. Like, so you move to the other person. So don't stay. I satisfy you, you and then I do like, my like, best somewhere, like, bro. I think I have no, the best no, 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 Exactly. That is why. That is why. That is why. That is why your partner has to use protection. That is why I'm also saying you can never know if I'm cheating and when it comes to a situation like that. That's the point I'm making. You can never know. So if you can't know the person cheating. But we didn't come to an agreement. Uh-huh. Because you are like you are you are you are firm on what you're saying that condom throughout and I'm like okay. oh my god. Okay, so Shaka, 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 if I go to if I go to if I go to if I go to a woman, right? yep. if I'm with a if I'm with a lady, uh-huh. right? I'm with a lady right now, um we are we are like I don't know, into this relationship, we are committed, we are loving each other, uh-huh. we are sharing good moments and whatnot. And then it gets to the point where we feel comfortable to to, to get busy, right? And then we're having a discussion, or we're we are, we are about to, and then we can't agree on something as fundamental as whether we should use protection or not, right? From your communication, part, your you're talking. Part, from this part, yeah. Let's say I want to use protection. No, actually, want I to want to use protection. protection. Okay. She does not. Okay. Right. Yeah. If we can't agree on that, so we leave her. So that's after that's sex is not. That sex is not. And now happening. you're thinking of getting busy. What's that? That sex is not. No, you're saying that. But then it might happen with somebody else. Yeah. yeah. But go ahead. Wait, wait, but wait. Wait. No, we are not breaking no, up. No, no, no. Sex does not happen with another day, day. But we are not breaking up. Right. No. So I don't know. So I go out there and do my thing, and I come back the next day, and I'm like, okay, baby, I'm ready for you. So what happens? Then we have we have, we have So that is now you don't care about me playing around, so we can move like that. No, I don't know. 
saying I don't know. You haven't told me that you went there. But I ain't gonna tell you. Exactly. So what I know won't kill me. But See, if yeah. I forget, you're saying Somebody that chop you and and you and the girl are using protection for a while. Right. And now you want to have a discussion on you getting busy. Right. Obviously, <laughs> you're supposed to level the point. No, my, my first question is, how many times have you had sex with a person? You don't want to say, no. No. okay, so let's say him and I. Right. Obviously, he doesn't like condoms. Right. So let's say him and I. We've been in a relationship for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And we are probably getting married. Oh, we've gotten married. Right. And I want to get busy and everything. Right. So I have to have the discussion about the condom. Mm-hmm. Whose decision was it to have that communication or that decision? Oh, so if it was my guys. decision, see, I'm coming. If it was my decision to have that, um, that um, how call it? Interaction at that moment that, right. okay, babe, we need to discuss this. Mm-hmm. Okay, the condom that we use, blah, blah, blah. Now we're married. Right. Okay, see, the next sentence is, so we have to stop using the condom. But if, it, if it, I, need, I need to come here. If he right. also says that, or mm-hmm. if he goes on But the thing is, if you don't like babies, as you said earlier on, right. I feel like you need to discuss with the girl yeah. before you even get married. Of course, course. Yeah. of course. Now your mom will come to the house. Hey, now, nah, look at children who are here, fam. Right. Then the little girl like, oh, no. 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 Now what? Oh, maybe I'm not cut that. Now they will think that probably you have a problem and you're trying to push it on the guy. Yeah. And this will probably come from the situation whereby probably everything that she does, she fuck her up. Right. So now the mom is always be because who doesn't want kids? Right. Like you get married. No, no, no. But here's the thing. 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 Here's no, That's no, 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 I'm saying that. I, like, you have to listen to me. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about. The, 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 yes. We've known each other, we have not had sex. That's so, this is our first encounter. Yeah, this is our first encounter. Oh, this is our first encounter. Right? Oh, okay. And then it's time. I pull out a condom. You're like, no, I don't like a condom. I don't like uh-huh. to use protection. Yeah. We're not having sex. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and again, exactly. And if, and if because of that, you feel. Some type of way, and so you don't want to be in a relationship. Well, of course, you can. You, can you have. You can no, walk away. If you feel some right. type of way, and you really like the person, I feel like you need to tell the person how you feel. I, I think you need to discuss. No, but here's the thing. I understand this. If the person can't cope with it, then you walk away. But don't and stay. Again. And feel like, oh yeah, let me just. I like it. So let me just stay. And no, again, again, right. again. That's very disrespectful. Again, exactly. You can always talk. Again, like relationships are about, are about compromise, yeah. right? So there will be times when you compromise on specific, certain issues. Exactly. Compromise does not mean you let go of your stance completely, yeah. mm-hmm. right? You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're meeting each other. Yeah, yeah, meeting each other. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing for what I'm trying to say. And the thing is that, the thing is that, I know this whole thing is a discussion. Mm-hmm. We are together, we are partners, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. In every partnership, there comes a time when someone has to make an executive decision. And in this instance, I am making the executive decision. You are making it. Yeah, I'm making it. Yeah. Based on the I'm fact that you don't like you. kids or the I'm not protecting you. No, we are protecting each other. So, so for what I'm saying, having kids more than more than going to contact some kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you're making it. It's all about kids, man. You don't want more kids. I do it for the children. I bet you. Oh, the whole HIV. But I think Ahmed has a, a little problem, very, very fundamental. Ahmed because, very, because Later. I think he, oh. he said something I even took offense. The fact that he said those people having seven children in marriage should have no business no, no, using no, 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 no. after afterwards. I didn't say those, but I said there are some people who have seven kids. Because and they have no business. Because have, my those granddad, people need protection. My granddad had 24 children. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he could take care of them, right? He could take care of them. There are some people who cannot take care of three children, and they've had three children. Children. Yeah. Well, you have no business like, having three children. Like you need protection in your marriage. No, That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about. They didn't use right. a condom along the line, or they just went raw or and had it. Come so it's every it's single time, time, every single time that you had sex, your no, condom. No, you know that. If it didn't be like that, it might have taken a while, but then they had the children. Yeah, but Albert, you know that there Things are happen, sizes bro. when it comes to condoms, mm-hmm. right? Things so happen. let's say you're like really huge. Right. Then you buy a smaller size. They didn't even know the size. Right. You just buy any condom. Right. You go home and it's like a smaller size. Mm-hmm. And the person's asking for it, so they don't use it anyways. Mm-hmm. And it gets passed. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't your fault that I did. And it wasn't the lady's fault that I did. Right. But mine is, okay, it's not everyone who, let's say, knows about the morning after pill or whatever. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people do. Right. Okay, but some people just neglect certain things. 
Okay, so if you are very much against this and something like that happen, why don't you just offer the person a morning after pill? Okay, just yes. to make sure. And yes. that even yes. there's not even a hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah. So then that, that was my point. Like, right. is that, but that wasn't her fault. That wasn't your fault. I know. I, that, so, that was the point I was going to make. That if we are going to start questioning, if like, okay, the first layer of protection condom does not work, so you go to the second one. So then, what's the point of the first layer? Then, no, I'm then, saying, it's, no, then, you, then you, we are questioning the whole fundamentals of even protection. In the no, first I'm, I'm right. asking this, this because of you because you are like so against having kids yeah. at this moment. Right, right. Because you feel like you can't afford. Yeah, it. there's layers to it. Oh, no, you, but the you thing is, the first, now I'm giving you an instance. This is an right. instance where I'm making you huge. So right. you're huge now. Right. You go to the drugstore and you can't afford. Let's say, no, you can't afford, but you don't know the sizes. Mm -hmm. You just be like, oh, I just need a condom. Right. You're like, hey, yeah, yeah, okay, raw fighter, just get raw fighter. You go right. home. And now you fix that thing, and if fish you, like, you like what I so if fish you properly, like, probably very tight, mm. but you're like, yeah, I need my condom, so let me just put it on and pour it in water out. Mm -hmm. Then process, you're Something. doing it, Something you happens. come, it's still attached to your penis, mm. but you're still enjoying the girls, you know. Good area. Right. And now there's a case of like, it gets bust. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't mm -hmm. her fault. It was right. your father's fault. Yeah. This is a case of like, you don't like kids. Yeah. You give her money and ask a pill. It doesn't yeah, work. Doesn't work. Cause probably she's like super fertile. Yeah. yeah I don't know, like she just took seat. Right. Yeah, she will right. to the baby. So then what happens? Me? No. You know, no, 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 no. I'm not going to go that far. Because I'm, okay, I'm not, 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 I'm level of or layer of defense mm -hmm. right then there's the other guys the bishop the rook those other guys yeah, the knights. The yeah so i know so yeah in this case the condom broke and mm -hmm. that's your pawns they're gone right mm -hmm. and then you did the money after pill and homeboy home took away your knights your bishops you don't have it so like, checkmate yeah so it's checkmates like, so you, you, you have to deal with the consequences right both, both, of, of, it, right? Yeah, both of us exactly. you, you have the, you have the kid and you deal with it yeah my, my thing there is that at least try like to say oh. that because Layer one is not going to work, so let's have layer, yeah. layer two won't work. So what's the point of having protection? <laughs> Please, then that, then that questions the whole idea of sex Actually, education. Do you really know that there are some people who can't perform with the condom? They can't perform with the condom. Yes. Again, they I think that, that, that that's one of the lies that guys tell. <laughs> To, oh, to, no. to enjoy your role. No, 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 I'm sure there's some people. I'm sure there's some people. No, I'm sure there's some people who. Oh, people have a people. No, 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 people have a people. No, 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 in that case, well, you well, should not. Why? Why so? You should go. No, no, not you. I'm not saying you. I'm saying in general. Well, like guys who perform with that, well, for the condom, have yeah, sex yeah. before marriage. Yeah. 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 I mean, also all your relationships so you have, like have the condom on. Ex no, no, you have to. You have to. You have to. Like, for me, it's a must. For me, it's a must. No, no. Sometimes it breaks it out. You have to let it go. Yeah, I'm always trapping. Like, you always have a must. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always trapped. No, like, wow. No, and you see, and again, if I'm not. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Of course, this is a personal choice, right? Me and Shaka prefer on this thing. But. If I don't, if we're, in, if we're in a situation where like we're gonna have sex and I don't have a condom, it's not happening. Like it's not going to happen, right? Because it's a, it's my, to me, it's a fundamental thing there, mm -hmm. right? It needs to be there yeah. and the before anything happens. It. Exactly, and you have to respect. If you don't, yeah, yeah. Like, we go so, away. And and the thing that some prostitutes go like no condom, no sex. I have a person, yeah. you have to have that condom. Some, oh, and I don't? No, no, well, no, 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 no,
So you go do so you go see two Oh yeah, 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 so I was saying that in my question, some will go like with condom, pay this amount, without condom, pay that. And yeah. I'm not gonna mention without the condom, I feel like with condom, honestly. You, you, yeah. you might as well buy the condom anyway. <laughs> and I always ask myself, like, if you want to avoid getting pregnant or whatever, mm-hmm. let's ask yourself. If you're not ready, if you're not ready for pregnancy, especially with the ladies, okay? If you're right. a lady and you're not ready for pregnancy, and you know that the guy always, you know, Oh, I've forgotten the condom. Oh, then why don't you just buy the condom? Is the person with the condom? Because mm-hmm. you ask yourself, how much is a condom as compared to what? Pampers for how many years? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. A sacra sisca. Wasting money buying condom, 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 condom. You go to a place where they have two different things. Oh, set of condoms. Oh, come on, bro. Different, different brands. You should have to compare the condom with the condom. Oh, that's 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 the condom.
But I don't trust that he's faithful to me. Please. Baba, the what's, fact what? that I'm being okay with your relationship. Oh yeah, babe, I trust. But I will probably, I know myself, I'll Bye. probably name it. If I trust you on this account, if this it. account, I don't trust you. So it's on something I've probably heard yeah. or seen. So on a scale of one to ten, on a scale of one to ten, which trust do you think is most important in the relationship? Isn't isn't it the one that you have to trust how faithful your partner is? I think that's 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 you like to club, I like to club. We all go to a club together. So now there's just one time you couldn't be like, oh babe, yes sir. I'm like, what? So, um, da, 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 the is coming. I went to the club like, okay, what did you go with? Because right. I don't have a problem with you going to a club. Right. I should went to a guy and I met this girl and then I'm like, okay, okay. Because you have that conversation like, you know, you meet a girl with some short dresses, you come back home, we talk about it, we laugh. So now you're going, you're going to go like, so I don't know what happened then. Nigga, and, and I'll forgive happened. you, but yeah, I won't trust you. No. On that account, I'll forgive, but I won't so, trust you again. So you have to call that would tell like see, that. See, they at that tell. moment, at that moment, you're not a bad person. That shouldn't let me discredit for the, right. discredit you for the fact that you are, you know, a good person. But it was a mistake that happened. But I think I can't trust you to go to the club many, alone again. No. Because I feel like if you go to the club alone it's again, it's going to happen again. So on that account, I don't trust you on that account. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So the trust varies. Yeah. It'll be it's just the same. Yeah. Oh, so I meet you for the first time, and things go on. I trust you completely. Yeah. The trust the easy. It's the same way. I trust you completely. Oh, come on. You're talking like you have kids. Kids. Oh, kids. No, 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 no. no. Kids, bro. And now little little that, things start right happening. Okay, little little things start happening. Let's say. Trust people. See, I'll even refer to something. Okay, so let's say I've been seeing things. Your action makes me know that. Or probably you've had a fair couple of times. And now you've begged me a couple of times to, you know, let you come back. Your parents are begging. Everyone's begging. And you're back. And you're back. And now I feel like there's something going on. But I want to trust my guys that, hey, you've begged. Your parents have begged. I don't see you doing anything again. So is that why you start using the code number all of a sudden? No. But there was this message I read on Facebook. Mm. So this lady, after that, this thing I said, after this scenario, she goes to, like, okay, fine. You know what? I I like this guy. But I don't trust the fact that he's been faithful. So let me just go and check his phone. Probably there's this girl, like, it took her hours before she even touched the phone. Now she touches the phone, she opens it, and the message there reads that, oh, mom, I'm, I'm scared. I can't tell her I have eight. Mm. Mm. Wow. I can't tell her I have eight. And the mom is like, if you don't tell her, I'm going to tell her myself. And the lady sees this, and she starts crying. And she picks her kids. They have kids. She picks her kids to the clinic. They check the kids. Two kids, safe. No, not safe. Mm. Now, mm. is it her fault? that she trusted the guy enough to give herself to the guy even after the guy cheated right you understand so right. certain, see when it comes to this, all for marriage really right i'll i'll talk about condom get pissed off i don't care right but the thing is when you do something that discredits you i thought you're going to use that condom again, you know again I mean, let me let me let me jump in here I, again i i want to say this trust issue is a slippery slope Mm-hmm. One because because the thing is that we are talking like homeboy always brings up reality. We are talking about what's what's on, on the ground. ground. What's on the ground? Yeah. Ideally, of course, when you enter a relationship, you should trust your partner. Hope one hundred percent that they'll be faithful to you. Do I trust my partner? No. Do I like? Do I has my partner told me that like she's going to be faithful? Yes, yes. she has. Do I believe her? No. no. Yes, I do. Really? But. But do? do I trust her to stay faithful in every single situation <laughs> she finds herself? No. Now there will be a time when she'll be she'll be tested, right? She'll be yeah. pushed to the limit, yeah. and you can go over the board. And see, yeah. that's zero point zero zero whatever percent mm-hmm. chance is still very likely, right? Yeah. Right. And so you need to you 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 need to you need to have a backup plan. Now now here's the thing. Now here's the thing. It may it may be in a situation you get into you're married. Mm-hmm. Of course, married couples you need to appropriate. It's one of the fundamental things, mm-hmm. right? So you have, you don't, like, protection goes out of the window at that time. And again, you've made a commitment, right? This is very formal, it's very official, right? So that alone brings in some level of, of trust or some level of, of, like, seriousness or commitment to, quick to the relationship, right? Quick, quick question. Let me finish, right? And so in that case, yeah, the, the trust increases. Or, like, me believing that you would you stay people in different situations increases so i can have 
that I can be comfortable not using protection, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But going back to the reality on the ground, mm -hmm. they're like fifty percent of marriages end. I'm sure half of those end because of partners cheating, right? Relationships, people cheat on each other all the time, mm -hmm. right? And that's probably one of the main reasons why relationships end, right? So. If we're just going to, and usually what the, the time, it's only the schmucks that get caught on the first try, right? But the, usually by the time you catch your partner cheating, yeah, they've done, they done it multiple yeah, times, right? They've done so a why should I wait, come as, down or without condom? It doesn't matter now. Yeah, it's now it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't it matter. matter. So, yeah. so in that case, you've cheated you condom or no condom. Yeah. Me, you come to me, I don't know. So we are, we are operating as like business as usual. But we use a condom, condom, right? Because I don't know what you've done. You may have not done anything, but I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. So we, and again, it's not. I'm not going to say I go out here and like, oh, who have you had sex with today? So that was me. I'm not going to do that again, right? But like, you have to, you have to. Yes, trust your partner. Believe that they're yeah. going to do their best to stay faithful. Yeah. But you can never know when somebody's pushing so the limits. Hope. And so, and you hope. But then hope has to be backed by works, I guess. You you put in some protection and keep us, yourself safe. And that's and that's the way to go. You cannot work on them for the rest of your life, bro. Yo, you were listening to what I said. 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 And I'm saying, saying even after you think that the person has committed something, you cannot still use condom for the rest of your life. Exactly. I know. So it will get to a time that you think, okay, now, you mm -hmm. think she's cool and right. then you can hit her. So that's right. what you have, you have So okay, what do you do then? Are you going it? to say, okay, now, I think uh, it's been a while. I think now you're okay. You're not playing around. It. So we should go to the hospital and check before we do it raw. Yeah. Or what is going to happen? Or wrong. you think now you're okay, so you're doing it. Actually, then again, if if that happens, it even usually takes time for for couples to get back so together. Yeah, exactly. Right, and, and be sexually active. Mm -hmm. So it'll take time. And you obviously have to get tested. Right. Okay. Like kids get tested, yeah. but like, but that's the thing. Like you have to get tested, right? Exactly. But it takes time. You don't just go back. They don't come and tell you, "Hey, I've cheated on you." Yeah. Okay, make up sense. Like, 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 don't what, do that. Oh, so things that you don't see will not hurt you, right? Things that you don't see will not hurt you, right? Just like no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I can't make a decision on something I don't know. So if you've gone to cheat and you haven't told me, I don't know about it. Obviously, I can't say that. I can't always just have the assumption that you cheated. But but whether or not you cheated or not, I'm protecting myself. So I'm using protection. But you know that. We, have, we have five minutes. Let's wrap up. We have, we have, we have lots of instances. Everybody if you say you're going to base this particular topic on all those instances, right. you're going to be like tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's time we wrap up. Yeah, it's time so, to wrap up. So everyone <laughs> says what they have on their mind. Are you going to start? So Albert? <laughs> sure. Me, I'm very pro-protection. You protect yourself from STIs. You protect yourself from pregnancy. from pregnancy, right? Like I'm doing it for the kids because if she gets pregnant and you guys are not I'm ready, it for the kids. exactly, right? If she gets pregnant and you guys are not ready, you're going to put a kid in a very difficult situation, mm -hmm. right? So whenever if if you're if you're ready for it, of course, by all means, do do you? But then if if not, always protect. And again, there's a whole trust issue. My brother's saying. But if we are going to use trust issues to, to justify certain things, then like we are putting a lot of a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of teenagers at risk, and that's not that's not the best way to go. So protection all the way. Yeah, you 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 need to have protection to have sex. Um, because you're protecting yourself from STIs, from pregnancy, and all of and all of that. If um, the reality of the matter is, Ghanaians, we are not getting tested regularly on a regular basis. If you're in a relationship with somebody, they were in a relationship before you, and it, the, the likelihood of them cheating is, is, is also high. There's hepatitis B, there's other, other stuff apart from HIV and gonorrhea and all of that, which you can even have from exchange of body fluids, like syphilis. saliva, oh. um, sweat, in, syphilis. Um, there's, there's this gross one I'm forgotten. You just need to protect yourself because you don't know what you know what your partner might be doing. You, you can only trust God. You can only trust God. Okay. I think I'm not, I'm going to veer off the part like I'm a youth corner advisor, but uh, that's what these two people just did. But this is, it's, 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 it's a decision to me. Using a condom or not, it's a decision. You know, if you feel that you trust your partner enough 
not to use to, not to use the condom fine if you feel that you there's a need to protect yourself it's also fine i think it's, it's it, i put this in the same bracket as deciding to be a virgin or not i think you the decision is is you it's all about you you shouldn't try and you know put yourself in, in, a, in a fix because your partner does not want to use a condom if you feel that using a condom it's not good it's not it's not it's good for you fine if you feel that you want to be safe you want to protect yourself it's fine i think it's, it's up to you you're an adult you know i think you should be an adult to have sex in teenagers stop doing that so you should, you should be an adult to know your left and right and to know the best decision for you so that's it evaluate the, your decision you're going to make whether you're married you're not married you can use the condom or not and it's up to you yeah, so I'll say that using a condom in a relationship is based on a couple of decisions. No, it depends. It depends on lots of things, okay? It could be you're married or you're not married. It could be you're in a, um, a serious relationship or you're not. It could be that you don't trust the person you're with enough to you know, have sex with them without a condom. It could be that you're not building a relationship, so you, get to, you have to get to know the person well before you use it. But the thing is, the reason for using the condom in the first place is to avoid lots of, you know, sicknesses and, you know, pregnancy, unwanted pregnancy. So I feel like if you're comfortable using the condom and your partner isn't, and you're comfortable, please let them know that you're comfortable with the condom. Do not, you know, do what they want to do and make yourself uncomfortable just because you want to please them. That's not the way to go. Because you might end up getting something you're not supposed to get just because they think that they are safe enough or they are well protected or they are whatever. If, even if you trust them enough and you don't think at that particular time you're comfortable using the condom, please tell them. And if you're a guy and you're not in a serious relationship, or you, let's say you're in a serious relationship with a person and the person tells you that they want to use a condom and you think you're not comfortable with it, let them know. But please do not stay with them and go out there and do it with someone else. That's not the way to go. That's you cheating, first day. And you end up coming home with other sicknesses that probably come transferred without the sexual intercourse, but with other stuff. There are kisses, there are other stuff, hugging and everything, exchange of fluids. So you have to make sure and stand by your decision. If you want to have kids, make sure you're tested, both of you. Do a couple of tests, because one test cannot assure you that you're safe. No. So do a couple of things, make sure that you're safe, then you can go ahead and use whatever you want to use or use for that corner. You well, too. I still stand with the fact that <laughs> you, you guys are known to each other while well, you guys are faithful to each other, you guys are, you trust each other. And if you are not going to get a second partner, then why not? You can go wrong. As in, my men conclude the BBR. Or a simple. If you love your partner, and deep down inside you know it is only him or her. Deep down. <laughs> then you love the person, and the person loves you, and you think you are not gonna cheat. Condom is good, but raw is better. <laughs> raw is best. If it is pregnancy that you fear, as a forget it. In every one onion. Are you are you no shape legend po goes to po and you po? And then hepatitis and then call your test. Oh no partner when your test. When you then one trust them or mumbre fi. I just want to share one cause I know a bad myself and so cheaty. Now best your condom because only so we fail to work with you. Now they are bad kind. To buy. Hey, my wife didn't entrust it. Yes, your condom. Yes, your condom. But if you are pure and you love your wife in a religious way, in a Christian like way, what's the more sin? I be no yawa. Then the condom, condom. Then the condom, condom. Eh? Move it to my condom doctor for pregnancy or plans be brave. My baby to prevent that. What? Yeah, yeah. Of what? Nas ya? And then it is. And then yeah, yeah. Meningitis. Now we're here to put that. It's a condom, man. Yeah, you two near you be a passa. Yeah, wo 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 wo. Yeah, we rough rough now. You're crazy. Yeah, they spread the AIDS now. I don't know. So you are Why would you have one in the condom? Condom. Oh, but raw. Ah. 
就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就